Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings. Today we have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, Governor Yesom Wike proof is in charge of River State as he makes this decision that shocks the federal government. But uh, we just want to let you know that this is an update to what happened a day ago where Governor Wike arrested the pilot of uh, Caverton helicopters and uh, we're going to hear what he has done next which has shocked the federal government but before we continue please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon don't also forget to like our videos uh, so that we can save you better all right let's look at the news in detail governor yes on wiki on wednesday evicted Caverton Helicopters from River State ordering closure of its offices and oppression for alleged unsafe uh, business practice against the state executive order to check spread of coronavirus. River State government had the day before arraigned two pilots and ten passengers of the A transport operator at a Portacot magistrate court, which reprimanded all the defendants till May 19, 2020, for the commencement of trial while also ordering COVID 19 tests on the accused to ascertain their status. Wiki in Wednesday broadcast on the development said, We appreciate the need to protect business we appreciate the need to protect business interests and operations in the state we will do whatever is required to ensure no business is unduly affected by measures we have taken to combat the coronavirus however we shall not welcome businesses or companies that value their activities or profit more than or in clear or in clear is disregard of lives and health of our people. Caverton helicopters have clearly shown that River's life do not matter to it. It is an enemy of River people and is hereby declared personata non grata. With this declaration, Caverton helicopters can only choose to operate in any part of rivers at its own risk as local government chairmen have been directed to close their offices and prevent their operations. He further stated, their morbid intention is to create panic by pushing up infection rate to rubbish the robust measures we have since put in place to cut off spread of virus and keep our state and citizens safe and secure from the ravaging pandemic. He further stated that Calverton helicopters claim to have flown passengers into rivers with permit from federal agencies where never bothered to take the state government into confidence in issuing such permit in violation of our laws and containment orders. While federal agencies reserve the right to issue flight permits to airline operators to fly into River State, we insist that the state governor, government must equally be informed and taken into confidence in the process. This is the only way to avoid suspicion, conflicts of interest, and unnecessary bickering between the state and federal government in our collective effort to combat the spread of COVID-19 in the country. For us in River State, COVID-19 is a matter of life and death. We will never succumb to any blackmail from any person, institution, or authorities in our determination to protect our citizens and state from the spread of the virus. Wow. We all know his name, a no-nonsense governor. He, does, he doesn't take any kind of nonsense from any person, a no-nonsense governor. And he has proven it, you know, despite the fact that before now, you know, we've already had a lot of uh, messages from Hadi Sarika, who is incidentally the Minister of Aviation. Uh, he, Hadi Sirika had already reacted to the arrest order uh, of uh, Wiki towards the pilots. You know, when she heard that the pilot, or when he heard that the pilots were arrested, uh, he says that uh, aviation matters are on the exclusive list of the federal government and faulted the order of Nyeson Wiki, the governor of 
River State that two pilots of Carverton uh, helicopters should be arrested. And uh, despite all of this, I, th I think where he had to speak out was um, when the, they were arraigned at the magistrate court and reprimanded in prison till May. And this is quite shocking because it's a proof that this guy is not ready to take any nonsense from anybody. And, you know, this is overly important. Being that this is um, federalism, Nigeria is practicing federalism, you can't just barge into people's state, especially considering the fact that there had been an executive order by the governor that uh, everywhere is on lockdown. You cannot come into the state. You, you don't have that right, you know. That's his area of jurisdiction. He is the chief executive officer of River State. He is also the chief security officer of River State. It is a duty on his part to ensure that they don't compromise the security of that state, especially during a period like this. This is quite a sensitive period. If nobody is scared of COVID-19, I think any reasonable person who values the life of his people, who values the life of a citizen, especially if you're a governor of a state, if you value the life of your people, you will do everything within your power to ensure people don't bring in that sickness. Already, if you are, um, you guys listen to international news, just yesterday, 2,000 people died in the United States of America. And hey, this guy's got everything that they need. They, they, they have all the med medical supplies. They have all the medical personnel. But people are dying on a geometrical uh, uh, rate. 11,000 people, that I think 11,000 people died in just one month. But imagine in a single day, 2,000 people are dying. And it's, they are almost very helpless at this point. Now, you, you have already heard what has been happening. Why would you begin to prioritize business more than the lives of the people. Governor Wike had done his best to ensure that people don't, people don't come into River State. They are not smuggled into River State no matter what. And if you have uh, intentions of, uh, uh, you know, bringing in people, you know, possibly say that, well, aviation matter is actually on the exclusive list of the federal government. Okay, it's on the exclusive list of the federal government. But then you want to, you want to, you know, give permit for them to fly into another man's territory, being that he's in charge, it would have been the duty of uh, Hadi Sirika, who is the minister of aviation, to get Governor Wiki informed. That, hey, these guys have obtained, you know, these guys are on an exclusive list. And please, whatever you have to do when they arrive in River State, do it so that we can curtail the spread of this virus. So that he will know, okay, as they're coming in, we're going to quarantine them for 14 days. And after quarantining them for 14 days, this is what we'll do. Or maybe they tell us where they're coming from, but no matter where they're coming from. Because the life of the people are overly important to him. He must quarantine them. But this one, you behave as if, uh, uh, being a minister, you are in charge of everywhere. And look at, I, I trust this guy. I trust him so much. I knew he wouldn't take garbage from, any, from anybody. And look at what he has done. He said, no more Carverton helicopters in Port Harcourt. Who is losing? I can assure you it's not River State because they have multiple businesses, especially in oil and gas. They're not the ones losing. Certainly another company, another, you know, helicopter company may likely jump in to see how they can negotiate, you know, coming to stay in River State so that they can take over the job from them. So I think at this point, they need to, you know, humble themselves at this point. Just try to be so real. Humble yourself. The chief executive uh, of those company, that of the heli helicopters company, I think they need to humble themselves. Call the, uh, the man in charge and let them talk to we. Okay, because that's the only way out. But I know that the court will not change its verdict because uh, these guys must be in prison up to uh, May, you know, before they can call for another hearing. And uh, I don't know how those guys are really going to survive. And number one, they're going to be quarantined, you know, for 14 days. And after quarantining them, they're going to stay in police custody till the, the set date for, you know, their, uh, uh, for another trial. So uh, it's quite unfortunate on their part. Really, really unfortunate. But it's a clear indication that this man is really in charge. A lot of governors have really awoken from their sleep. Imagine the governor of Cross River State. It's really surprising. 
the young man is a digital governor, you know, it's swaggish called governor, and uh, but so amazing that he had to go stay at the border between Aquaibum State and Cross River State. Reason is what? He doesn't want people to come in from Aquaibum State into Cross River State because they already heard that Aquaibum State have uh, like five persons who are infected. You know, so he doesn't want to allow such to happen to his state. Already, he has already, I hate that he has launched um, this uh, no mass, no movement. Everybody in Calabar now are putting on, putting on, uh, putting a mask on their face. You know, as you put on this nose mask before you can move. If you move without putting it on, you will be arrested. Guys, people are not joking because life is the treasure of the state. If you don't have life, business will crumble. If you don't have life, business will come to a standstill. This is what we want to see. No need to gallivant. No need to allow anybody to put you under his feet and be dribbling you around. I won't lie to you. This guy has shocked the federal government to their bone marrow. I mean, I don't know how the minister is going to handle this. And you know, the most uh, um, troubling aspect of this whole thing is the fact that Wiki is not an APC governor. He's a PDP governor. And guess what? He it was true real wrestling before. You know, he took charge of the state again. So I, I wouldn't, I don't think that the president at this point will want to interfere in this case. Those guys must stay under the custody of the police for as long as the court has said. And the uh, thumbs up to Wiki for showing that he truly loves his people and he loves his state. All right, that's where we're going to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let us interact. What's your position?